Hey, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, then welcome. My name is Mia Danielle and I chat all about holistic and clutter free spaces. If that's something you're into, be sure to click subscribe and turn on those notifications. I release new videos every Tuesday. And today I want to talk about how you can do cozy in your home, especially in your minimalist home in the summertime. I have some videos about how to make your minimalist home cozy and inviting. And a lot of those could be centered around kind of fall and winter themes. I think that those videos were both released around the fall and winter time because that's when we get cozy, right? We pull out the warm, fuzzy, tall socks and the hot cocoa and the fuzzy sweaters and throw blankets and all of that. And it's a wonderful cozy time. But what if you want to also experience some coziness during the summertime? Or if you want to also make sure that your minimalist space doesn't feel too sterile in the summer when you get rid of a lot of those warm and fuzzies. That's what we're going to talk about today. Rest assured, there are some things that you can do to evoke that delicious coziness during the summer without the warm and fuzzy materials. First of all, there's the nature component. Having natural elements inside of your space can bring a sense of grounding and rootedness to a space that makes it feel more wholesome, more natural, less sleek, and less sterile. This can easily be done by bringing in some plants. And this is probably one of the easiest things because most people are currently in the springtime and in the summertime bringing in all of the fresh new plants while they can still live before they die in the winter. And that is a great way to replace the warm and fuzzy blankets and throw pillows with another sense of life and warmth. I currently have some different plants of my own up in various windowsills throughout my house and little hanging planters. And it really does just kind of evoke taking a deep breath. Every time I'm messing with them, I just feel like I can take a deep breath. It feels really relaxing. And that essentially is what you're getting when you get a cozy atmosphere, right? You're, you're getting this sense of fullness, this sense of ah, relaxing enjoyment. And that's what plants can give you even if you don't particularly have a green thumb like I never have. So far, my plants are surviving, but there are fake plants, and I've definitely used the fake plants before. I've had a dish full of faux succulents that, in my opinion, you couldn't really even tell were fake succulents because succulents already have almost like a fake look to them. And even bringing in things like that is still bringing in the green tones, it's bringing in some different textures. And you don't even have to go with plants or faux plants, you could go with dried florals. Yes, those are really big come fall time, but pompous grass is kind of in style all year round, if you like pompous grass, which I do. I use it all over the place. Um, so pompous grass you can keep year round and it adds some gold and some soft feathery, you know, you can get it in a variety of shades from like gold to beige to cream to sometimes brown. So if you have like a variety of mixtures in there or even just the gold and cream, that's going to really lighten things up, make things a little more cozy. And it really adds softness because that dried floral itself is very soft and textured. Similarly, bunny's tails are really popular for adding some texture and adding a bit of that nature element while not having to keep something alive. I just have to keep my one and a half year old away from it. She loves the bunny's tails. She loves to pull them out of their pot and break their stems, but otherwise they are really cute and simple and elegant and add a touch of warmth even in the summertime. And it doesn't have to be plants to bring natural elements into your space to really warm things up. Woods, especially hardwoods, but any wood that has a grain, even if it's a faux grain, that helps to bring some texture into the room as well. But it also brings in a sense of warmth and a sense of nature, which makes places feel cozier. We feel cozy and cared for in nature, right? Like that's what we were built for. We're built for nature. So the more that we can incorporate that into our spaces and not over sterilize things and not over like man make things, um, it can make you feel a little more natural and a little more cozy and inviting. But stone is another way to do this. Even if the stone itself is cold, the colors and the bits of nature that are in them can be really warm and inviting. There's also a lighting component. And I think that most people don't go through and change out their light bulbs or the temperature, the Kelvins, I think you call it, of their light bulbs, but you definitely could. And the tones of your lights do evoke a more cozy or a more awake and daylightish vibe. So if you're looking to cozy things, for example, in the evening time, you might look at getting some gold lights or some soft 
warm lights. Um, or you could do like we've done around here and just get the light bulbs that change tint and change color year round and you could just set it with your voice. So I have the Philips Hue light bulbs. And the great thing about those is if you do want to have a more warm and cozy or fireside vibe, you can set it to that. You can do it on the app on your phone. If you have the dots, you can do it by voice. Um, and if you're wanting to be awake and productive and maybe work for the day and you don't want to do that next to the golden light, then you can turn that over to daylight. So there are definitely things that you can do regardless regarding light inside of your space. And if nothing else, side lighting is always going to give cozier and more natural vibes than stark overhead lighting. So keep that in mind. If all you have right now is like a ceiling fan light and it always, you know, kind of hits the, the corners and the different shadows of the room a little funky because it's all coming from up above. Or even worse, if you have the fluorescent lights like a lot of people have in their kitchen, you might consider some side lighting options just to help cozy and warm things up a bit. The great thing about summer and where you can really tap into the cozy benefit of summer is with the natural lighting. You finally get back to the sunshine when it's summertime. So open those windows, open the blinds, even, you know, like let in some of the air from outside if it's not too hot, but really just letting that natural sunlight come in. There's nothing cozier than natural light. It's soothing, it's uplifting, and it's free. And keep in mind that you can still implement textures and cushions that are soft and deep without using necessarily the furs and the wools. Like you can choose other material that still has depth and still has texture, and that's still going to warm a space up and make it feel more inviting and feel more cozy and again, less sterile. Generally flat and sleek brings on more of a sterile and pristine sometimes sense, it's great if when you can mix the two of those, when you can have a little bit of the pristine, flat, push to the back, not run in the show type of um, textures and colors, and then you can throw in pops of really warm and inviting textures and colors. And when you can layer those into a room, it really helps to bring the whole thing together and feel not overwhelming, like if everything had its own pattern and texture and color, um, and also not sleek and sterile and boring, like it would if everything was the same color and no texture. So find different ways to layer it on. Don't be afraid to play with it a little bit. Throw pillows can be a great way to bring in a variety of different textures without overwhelming a space. You can still use throw blankets. You don't necessarily have to get the heavy furry ones. You can get like a really thin, sheer almost texturized throw blanket and that can be light enough to use during the summer but textured enough to bring a little bit of variety to the room and rugs are also a great way that works both winter summer you can use rugs for any season year round right and it helps to bring a lot of texture and warmth and to lock off areas inside of a space to make them feel more inviting so I'm sitting in my living room right now we don't have a rug that covers the entire living room we only have a rug that's underneath the couch and sitting area so it almost highlights or boxes off that space as being a here come here and sit type of space it adds a new level of welcoming um, the same is true for the dining rooms and for the longest time we didn't have a rug in our dining room and it was very echoey and it felt very cold I loved it because it was very spacious and just the wood floors and big windows you know it's one of my favorite rooms of the house because it was very bright and open but it was very echoey and could be a little bit cold cold style wise. So just bringing in a rug that covered the space of the dining table and the dining chairs was enough to cut out a ton of the noise, especially the moving the chairs in and out noise and save our wood floors in the process and add just a little element of inviting and warmth. Similarly, curtains can be a great way to add texture to a room, even if they don't have a textured material or poppy colors, just because it's something to add definition to the walls and add definition around the windows. So that in itself, just the act of having the cloth there is texture. Even in our living room here, we have heavy curtains that are blackout curtains that are about the same color as the wall, and they're not very textured themselves but they are on a pole that makes them rippled, right? And so even that little rippling action is adding texture to that back wall. Whereas if we had nothing there besides some big, cold, you know, boxy window, it would feel much colder in this space. 
Hopefully that helped to give you a little bit of inspiration and motivation maybe to create some spaces that feel not only clutter-free this summer, but also really cozy and inviting and exciting to be in. I hope that you have a wonderful summer if you're coming into one right now. And if you are looking for any help on the whole clutter-free part of things, I have a ton of resources down in the description. I've got Leaf to Screen, which is my paperless and a day mini course. I've got my free resource library, which has tons of wonderful PDFs that you can check out for yourself. And then I have my free workshop on how to become clutter-free. All of that down in the description. Chat with you later.